first thing I want to start with you tonight, which has been a big thing of mine going back 10 years with George on Blog Talk, which is Bigfoot. Um, and I'm just going to ask you, man, do you think Bigfoot's out there? <laughs> um, yes, but. So that, that really <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, I do not think there is a giant monkey in North America that we can capture and put in a cage. Okay. But that said, I think Bigfoot is out there and, and people do see it. And when they see it, it's absolutely there and it's absolutely real. And it leaves footprint and hair and scat behind. Let, let me tell you what I have come up with in my thoughts over the years of listening to so many different theories and, and hypotheses about Bigfoot. Is there a possibility that the reason we don't see them for long or we only catch glimpses of them, that maybe the people that are reporting this sighting is factual, but we don't find anything else is, is that they're aliens, that we've never considered. We always think of the dark skin, the gray skin, the black eyes. Why can't these big hairy guys that are bigger than us, why can't Scotty beam them up? <laughs> well, I, you know, it could be, I'll just put it that way. And I will say the number of, um, you know, your, your, your flesh and blood cryptozoologists, the guy that say that we're going to capture them and, and have one in a zoo one day, um, they'll tell you that there's not many reports of Bigfoot seen with UFO. And I'm here to tell you that's absolutely not true. I've written with my co-author, Joshua Cutchin, two books full of just accounts of weirdness with uh, with Bigfoot, Where the Footprints End, Volume 1, Volume 2 is getting ready to come out in a month or two here. And the accounts of Bigfoot with strange lights and Bigfoot with UFOs, it, it's just, it, you know, it's longer than my arm. It, it just goes on and on and on and on. There's, and I always say, you know, how rare is it for someone to see a Bigfoot? And then right. how rare is it for someone to see a UFO? And then you put those two things together and say, you know, how rare is it for a person to, to see a Bigfoot and then walk, you know, drive down the road a mile and then they see a UFO or they see him at the same time? There's so many instances of this happening that... You know, I can't tell you for sure they're connected, but my intuition says they're somehow connected. There's there's something going on there. Uh, you know, a lot of the Bigfoot researchers will say, well, the, the, the euphonauts, the aliens, whatever you want to call them, they're just as interested in Bigfoot as we are. How do you know? How do you know that? Yeah. You know, like, we don't even know what, they, what is in, flying those things, if, if they are craft. You know, A, we don't know that they're necessarily craft. We don't know what they're flying. So I will say that, I definitely think there's a connection. What the connection is, I don't exactly know. You know, I'd, I'd be guessing if I, you know, if I said, right. but, uh, but certainly it's possible. It's, it's absolutely possible. And I remember the old Tarzan movies I grew up with where Tarzan caught the tiger by digging a pit and putting the leaves across it and it fell in. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, why don't you just dig a Bigfoot pit, put the chickens out there and make sure it's big enough to where he's not there. And he says, what, you know, somebody had said, well, what if someone, a human falls in? I said, well, Put a sign over in the corner with a cell phone to call you to say, hey, I've fallen in your Bigfoot pit. You know, if Bigfoot calls you, we've got something there, too. But it's just amazing to me because in saying that and kind of joking around in the conversation, you stop and think about it. If they're out there and we've had this many sightings, they're very elusive. They're the best hide-and-seek game players we've ever seen to date. We've not caught them. They've got to have an upper hand somehow if they're there. So you have your naysayers who say they don't exist, which I can't argue with them. We haven't found bones or anything. But then again, we've had so many sightings around the globe of the Yeti, the Bigfoot, Sasquatch, you name it. This has been going on for a long time. So people like you and me begin to say, well, there's a lot of credible witnesses out there that have seen them. With that said, how are they getting away from us? So I, I agree with you. I think that there's something more to them than just being a creature that roams the prairie. Oh, yeah. There's, I, I mean, if you take, you know, you can point out a number of things where witnesses will describe them and they, they do sound like they have, you know, primate behavior and, and primate features. But then you can start pointing to other things such as um, the number of uh, three-toed tracks we have, uh, which, again, the, the flesh and blood guys will say they're not that many and they only found them in like Pennsylvania in the 70s and, you know, like a couple other places. Not true. They're found all over the country. Uh, three-toed tracks, primates don't have three toes. And uh, somebody, well, people said, well, it's inbreeding. Well, inbreeding tends to cause more toes, not less. So what's going on with that? What, why is that a, a thing? Uh, the glowing eyes is a big one. Now, I've talked mm -hmm. to 
any number of witnesses and read way, way more reports than that of people talking about their eyes glowing. Now they're certain they're glowing. They're not reflecting. They said, no, 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 they're glowing. These are glowing eyes. They're glowing red eyes. Nothing on the planet has that. There's no animal on the planet that has glowing eyes. Plenty of animals have a tapetum lucidum, which is like if you see a deer in the headlight and it's reflecting back at you, that's the tapetum lucidum. That's that's what's reflecting. But no high order primate does. There are some low order monkeys that have tapetum lucidum, but no high order primate does. So if this thing is a real animal, it is the king of evolution. It has evolutionary features bioluminescence and, uh, you know, the ability to camouflage itself and, you know, any number of, of these incredible evolutionary traits that uh, make it, I mean, basically, if it has all these evolutionary traits that make it, you know, this super being, essentially, it might as well be paranormal at that point. There's nothing <laughs> else on the planet has anything close to this. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. And I hate the idea that if we ever did actually catch one, putting it in a zoo, I I think it's an intelligent creature. As I've, I've joked with friends, you know, let's bring it in and see what it's about. It could absolutely dominate the NBA, you know, let's bring, bring them in with us. So never, I, I have every confidence. I would bet my house on it. You'll never see a body brought in. I will, I will, I will I, do that because uh, people have, people have shot and supposedly killed him. You know, there, there's been several, several cases through the years where people have said they, they've shot and killed him. 100% of the time, not not 90% of the time, not 80% of the time, not 95% of the time, 100% of the time, those bodies go missing. One way or another, they go missing. Whether it's the mysterious black van that pulls up and takes them away, or or whether they turn their back for 10 minutes and supposedly other creatures come and grab the body, usually they don't see this happen. They just assume that's what would happen. Right, uh, right. W by whatever means, the bodies disappear 100% of the time. This is undeniable. We don't have a body. 100% of the time, those bodies disappear. So that coupled with the fact that, uh, you know, any number of people have shot at these things at, to no effect whatsoever. They've shot them and either literally seen the bullets bounce off or just the, they don't react. Uh, now, all, sometimes they do. Sometimes people say they'll scream and run away and they'll even see blood. But but many, many cases of people shooting them and just no effect whatsoever. So there's something something weird about this thing. But, it, you know, whatever's going on with it, it's very weird.